Yo what is up everybody, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add a custom controller overlay that you guys are seeing on screen right now and it's super easy if you have the time to do it. Um, the hardest part is making the custom part for the controller. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this so I'll just turn this off real quick. There we go. Alright. So first place we're going to need to go is GamePadViewer.com and we're going to be doing an AdSpots controller today. So we're just going to select the player. Let's do the white. And then what we're going to do is we're going to inspect the page and go to sources. And what we want to do is come over here to Xbox assets and as you can see we have all this stuff but you're only going to select the parts that you want to customize so I'm going to select this go here open a new tab and then you're going to go here and save as and save it somewhere then you're just going to go through do that for every single one so maybe you want to do this right here you go here save as and then next thing you're going to do is go to your photo editor so i'm just going to search here online photoshop free just like that and i use this this is a really good website right here and basically what we are going to do is come over here find the size of this so let's see does it tell us here usually it does tell us no that's fine okay i'm pretty sure i know what it is anyway it is 760 and 3630 pretty sure we'll do a transparent background create then we're just going to drag our pieces in so i'll drop the pieces real quick and then i'll get back to you guys Alright, so I now have my Xbox controller in here, and now we are able to start customizing it. So I'm just going to do a simple little customization here, nothing too crazy. I'll just select all the white parts, go here, and then do layer via copy. We'll make this invisible. We want to select this, and then let's do a nice gradient. Uh, let's see. Kind of something. That looks pretty good. That looks kind of good right there. Alright. That's good enough for this demonstration. Whoops. Just do that. Alright. So now you can see that we have our overlay. I mean, it's not too clean. You would have to go in and fix all the uh, little spots in here. But you can do that real easy. Uh, just get the white out. So, for this demonstration, we're just going to keep it simple, and now we want to export it as a PNG. Very important that it is a PNG. And then we're just going to save it. And there we go. So, next thing we want to do is go to tasteofcode.org. And we also want to go to Imgur, right here. We're going to create a new post, and then drag this here. And then, if you don't log in, you'll have to watch an ad. So I'll just go to here, where I had my uh, custom controller. And I'm just going to copy the link here. I also made some uh, triggers, or not triggers, joysticks and ABXY. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go back to GamePad. And we want to come over here to style.css and I have already found it but it's gonna put you at the top and what you want to do is find your controller so we are looking for at spots one controller we scroll down there it is and then we are just going to highlight all of this all the way down to here copy it Control C, go to paste the code, and put in our code here. Now we're going to come back here. We're going to copy our link. Let's see if 
Alright, never mind. You know what? Let's use our demonstration picture. So I can show you guys. Since it will be different. So we'll just go here. And then I'll just watch this ad and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so here it is. As you can see, it's very ugly because of these white. Because we didn't spend any time on it. But we're just going to copy it, go to paste of code. And the first thing is going to be background URL. We want to come here. Paste it. And then we need to put dot png. That is very important. And then you would go back or go down and paste the URL to like triggers and stuff if you did do that. So we'll do control A to select all and control C and then we're done right there. So now we're going to come back to our OBS or Streamlabs. I'll just turn this off. Actually never mind I can't. Alright so now what we're going to do is press this little plus button. We want a browser, we'll just call this controller2 or underscore red and do OK. Now I want to come back over to Gamepad Viewer. We can close out of this. Uh, got it. We're going to come here, go to generate URL. We'll do a reset here. Copy this, you click it, it will copy it for you. Come here. I like the URL paste it there and then we have to need to go back to our paste code I forgot we copied it control a control C to select all and copy all now we need to come down to custom CSS down here delete everything in this paste this press ok and it will show disconnected then you just move your controller around and there it is our custom controller overlay is now on the screen this was a super quick tutorial so I tutorial so you got hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like on the video if you didn't hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in another video